Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Today, we're talking about Gentex's share buyback program and them reducing their shares. First, let's talk about them reducing shares. Gentech has an effective Reg A with a capital raise limit set at 40 billion shares. Management states that they can hit their capital raise targets with a significant reduction in the authorized share capital and have the reduced amount of shares available for further dilution of shareholders. Effective today, the authorized share capital is now listed as 33 billion shares, signaling an end to significant further dilution as management lays out a plan to further reduce the authorized share capital in December 2021 and begins work on a share buyback initiative. Reducing shares is always a great sign, especially with OTC companies. I mean, a triple zero company reducing shares for their shareholders to avoid dilution is always a great sign. But let's get into this next piece of positive information with Gentech talking about their share buyback program. The company will also begin a share buyback initiative with the board initially authorizing the repurchase of a minimum of 1 billion shares of the company's common stock to be reviewed at the end of December 2021 based on results. The stock repurchase program, which starts on December 1st and ends December 31st, 2021, allows the company to repurchase its shares from time to time in the open market as well as negotiate it in transactions. So if you're keeping track, the company's already reduced their shares from $40 billion to $33 billion. Now the company's going to start buying back shares at least a maximum of $1 billion. So hopefully by 2022, we could be at 32 billion shares, wiping out 8 billion available shares, giving you more value as a shareholder. David Lovett, the CEO of Gentech, commented that we have an incredible growth year and that is fueled exclusively by the Reg A that we have had in effect since June 2021. We have had zero reliance on toxic funders and have reduced the debt on our balance sheet by well over $2 million in 2021. Our expectations are to be exceeded for retail interest, but with that success comes significant additional costs from placement in the stores to drive consumer uptake of the products. We now feel comfortable in capping out our funding raise abilities. But be clear, we will take further action in December to reduce the authorized share capital further once we are able to judge the success of any share buyback transaction that occurs. $33 billion is not the final number. A further reduction will be made at the end of the year. Now, finally, there is no guarantee as the number of shares that will be repurchased, and the repurchase initiative may be extended to expended or discontinued at any time without prior notice at the company's discretion. That is obviously a warning that they have to include with anything, but Gentech is reducing shares, buying back shares, and I mean, what else can't they do? I am truly invested in this company, and the fact that they're trying to give you more value as a shareholder is always a great sign. I love this OTC company and hope to hear more from them. What are your thoughts on Gentech after this announcement? I will definitely be purchasing more as, I mean, we now know that shares have gone up in value significantly with them buying back and reducing their authorized shares. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching. Morris Money. Thank you.